Hello everyone, my name is Magnus Thor. I'm about to show you a little demonstration of the xsockets.net uh, WebSocket server platform, uh, which you can find on xsockets.net. In this demonstration, we will be showing you how you can combine WPF, uh, the Kinect device, the Kinect SDK, together with xsockets uh, to make a quite cool thing. Um, I hope that you will enjoy it. Uh, first of all, uh, I will show you a little thing about how you start the WebSocket server. Um, we are starting the, the application, which is, which is a, a development server of the xsockets.net platform. It registers a couple of protocols, uh, the different versions of the protocol that the server is supporting today, uh, as well as, uh, as, as, well as, as uh, the server registers a couple of plugins so-called WebSocket handlers. Uh, in this case, we're just using the generic handler, a WebSocket handler that contains no special logic. It just receives the data and passes the data through uh, to everyone listening to the socket and uh, letting the, the clients deal with, with the logic. This is the simplest way of, uh, of testing WebSockets or testing the XSocket.net uh, platform. Uh, further on, we ha have a WPF application, uh, which is a simple thing. It just contains a simple image or, or video, uh, which will be showing you the depth image of the Kinect device, uh, which is used to, to, to calculate the skeleton or, or movements. In this case, we are just using uh, the, the things found in the Kinect SDK. We can see here that we have a, a runtime that sends an event called a skeleton frame, uh, frame ready. Uh, we, we can just iterate through the, the data and grab those co coordinates or skeletons that is tracked. Uh, if we have a skeleton, we can say that the application is sending data and we can also iterate through the, the skeletons where we have a state called tracked, which is pretty much the thing, same here. Um, for each uh, of those skeletons or skeleton parts we find, we are creating a new object called Calculate the Skeleton Points. Uh, we are also uh, adding this uh, this uh, object to a list of uh, to a list. Uh, when this is done, uh, uh, we are just needing, or this application just needs the right hand because we are not uh, using the, the other uh, parts of the skeleton. Uh, this is why I say the list equals the, the right hand. Uh, when this is done construct a XSocket event, which is a list of calculated skeleton points. In this case, there is only one, one skeleton point. Uh, and it's, it says that the event is on skeleton frame ready, and it serializes the, 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 the message or the, or the event as JSON, and sends it to the socket for the generic WebSocket handler. Uh, so as the server is now running, uh, so we can start uh, the WPF application. Uh, we can see that the device is not tracking anything right now uh, because uh, we have to, to move uh, far away from, from the device. Uh, let us also open up the server. Uh, if I move a little far away from the camera, a wave, then we can see that the Kinect device is now sending data to our WebSocket server. Uh, already is, it has sent 200 messages, as you see. Uh, so let's start up uh, the WebSocket client. In this case, we have a little thing called Kinect Ninja, uh, which, is, which is a, a, a game uh, inspired by uh, Fruit Ninja or Kinect, uh, Fruit Ninja for Kinect and, and other similar games. Now we can see that I'm moving the, uh, the sword by using my right hand. Uh, probably can optimize the, the skeleton things a little bit more to make more accurate uh, movements. But we can see that we are able to to have a fruit ninja-like game using WebSockets. In this case, uh, we are also able to surf into this web page and look at other players playing the, the game. Uh, so, so this is pretty much the thing. Uh, we can go back to the server, let us uh, disconnect from this page and have a look at the server, which is still sending data 
approximately uh, 1,500 messages is already sent or movements is sent from the device and it now stops tracking. Oh, it found me again. Let's stop the, the, the WPF application. <coughs> then we can see that the uh, server disconnects uh, or grabs an event that there is no one listening, there is no one sending data. So how does this, this work? Uh, you pretty much saw the thing here. Uh, we have in the Kinect data. Um, we have a little application that uh, uh, has an event called Skeleton Frame Ready. And we have the event handle as shown earlier. And also we have the, the death frame ready. Uh, we are showing the image as you saw within a little image window in application. So let us see on the, on the oh, sorry. Um, let us have a look at the client. Uh, we can just uh, open up uh, a web page called uh, Nina Kinect, which you may recognize. Let us uh, have a look here. We have a JavaScript uh, that is uh, creating an instance of the WebSockets um, helper class, uh, which connects to the uh, WebSocket on localhost, the server we have started, and it or connect, uh, communicating on port 4502 and pointing out which WebSocket handler to use. Um, further on, we have an event called open, which is fire off when we have an open WebSocket, in this case, just sending open to the to the uh, console. Uh, as you may remember, we are we're assembling a exocket event within the WPF application called on skeleton frame ready. This is the the, the, the subscribe pattern within the, the JavaScript. Uh, we are receiving an event called on skeleton frame ready, uh, which gives us a skeleton, and for each um, object within the list of skeletons or skeleton parts. We are sending the, the coordinates uh, as an argument to the to the Kinect um, uh, interface of the game. As they publish we publish the coordinates, this uh, was the thing that moved move the hand or, or sword within the game. Uh, uh, further on, the game is built on HTML5 and it's, it's inspired by a couple of different implementations of uh, Fruit Ninja. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Uh, you should also have a look at uh, uh, YouTube for other demos of XSockets or other WebSocket demos, as well as you can also make a stop on our website xsockets.net. Uh, and if you are a Swedish uh, or want to travel to Sweden, we are going to have a cold camp in this area uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, you are also welcome to, to join us there. Have a nice evening and thank you.